Oh, she's so happy. She's so peaceful. I just, I just don't want to let go. Hey everybody, it's Perez and Maite. And trying to get back to normal, but this is my new normal. I have a beautiful week old angel in my house and I never want to let go of her. And she's always happiest in her daddy's arms. Gosh, it's like, it should just be about her, really. Like, I'm just an extra. And do we even really care about the celebrity news right now? I'll get to it, but look at that, ladies and gentlemen. She loves her daddy. I put her down. Wah. I can't say no to her. Oh, I melt. I melt. She melts me. It's wild to think that I am now the father of two ladies whom one day will be out in the workforce and have to deal with people like a Harvey Weinstein, whom I'll get to in a minute. But first, I want to talk about Ben Affleck and the very damning allegations against him this week, some of which he has copped up to, out to, copped, copped to, there we go. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Cuban, and some of the English language sayings uh, don't, compute for me <laughs> correctly. <laughs> Just like some English speakers that are native of that tongue have if difficulty saying maite. Maite, 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 maite. You know, that's the English way, but I say maite. Anyways, uh, if you guys haven't been keeping tabs, she's so cute. Um, another person has come forward alleging that Ben Affleck was sexually harassing them. And it's not just any woman. It's a respected and known celebrity makeup artist who happens to be married to John Mulaney. And this is where it gets all sorts of six degrees awkward. John Mulaney, as you know, uh, was or still might be a star of Saturday Night Live. Ben Affleck's new girlfriend is one of the main producers at Saturday Night Live and now the wife of this prominent SNL personality says that at a Golden Globes party back in 2014, Ben Affleck didn't just grope her, he was invasive. This is what Anna Marie Tendler Milani said. I would also love to get an apology from Ben Affleck, who grabbed my ass at a Golden Globes party in 2014. He walked by me, cupped my butt, and pressed his finger into my crack. I guess he tried to play it like he was politely moving me out of the way and, oops, touched my butt instead of my lower back. What does this woman have to gain by revealing this? Nothing. In fact, she has a lot to lose. You know, people may um, call her all sorts of things, doubt her. I don't. I believe her. And uh, Anne Marie was alluding to Ben Affleck earlier this week, apologizing to former MTV VJ Hillary Burton, whom he groped while he was a guest on MTV's TRL back in, I think, 2001. And she, Hillary, was just 18 years old at the time. I have a feeling we're going to be hearing a lot more stories about Ben Affleck in the coming days. It's no secret that he has a lot of demons that he's been battling. He's been receiving ongoing therapy and treatment for his many issues, um, which include 
according to reports, alcohol, gambling, and possibly even temper issues he's been known to have as well. I just don't understand. Like, you you are one of the biggest stars on the planet. You know, ben Affleck is A-list. You could get any girl you want. Why would you have to force yourself upon somebody? Why would you have to behave so inappropriately when it is so easy for you? It's not easy if you're Perez Hilton, that's for sure. I haven't had any sexual anything in almost two years now. <laughs> but it's okay, because I've got this. I got this. Mm. She's worth it. My kids are worth it. Anyways, a lot of uh, updates happening in Harvey Weinstein's life. Yesterday, the police were called to the house of Harvey Weinstein's grown daughter. She's 21, 22 years old. After she called 911 and told police that her dad was suicidal and depressed. I don't have any sympathy for him. I have sympathy for his victims. Some would say karma. It was a very busy day for Harvey Weinstein yesterday. Not only did the police show up at his daughter's house, he also was spotted at his lawyer's office where he flipped the paparazzi, the bird, and then he capped things off by taking a private plane to Arizona, where he is believed to have checked into the Meadows Rehab Facility. They're used to treating high-profile celebrities there, uh, where he will just go and be on vacation, I think. Excuse me if I'm cynical, but I think if he really wanted to get better, uh, he would have done this maybe a decade ago, because he's been doing it now for over two decades. Okay. And things are going to get much worse for Harvey Fire Weinstein. You don't think they can, but they will. The FBI and the NYPD are both said to be investigating Harvey. And I've said this before, I'll say it again. I know others were complicit in this. And according to reports, the Weinstein Company did know about Harvey's settlements with multiple women. I don't think the Weinstein Company can continue. I don't think it should continue. He's done. It should be done, too. Is it just me? What do you think? In other news, um, Lindsay Lohan, <laughs> whom I made a video about yesterday continues to talk about Harvey Weinstein and say things that any normal person would not say in this situation. <laughs> Lindsay basically doubled down, saying, I'm saddened to hear about the allegations against my former colleague, Harvey Weinstein. As someone who has lived their life in the public eye, I feel that allegations should always be made to the authorities and not played out in the media. I encourage all women who believe Harvey harmed them to report their experiences to the relevant authorities. And saying things like that is one of the many reasons why victims are afraid to speak out. You should have done that. You could have done that. You shouldn't have been wearing that. Why didn't you get a rape kit done? If somebody wants to come forward however they want to, that's their choice. But like I said yesterday, Lindsay is very damaged, so... Let's go easy on her. In other Weinstein-related and equally disturbing news, according to multiple insiders at NBC News, even though Ronan Farrow had overwhelming evidence to go forward with a piece on Harvey Weinstein that he was working at NBC News, the higher-ups there killed that piece 
They did give him permission to take it to the New Yorker, which ran it after thoroughly vetting it and several on-the-record and off-the-record interviews. But the fact that NBC News killed this well-researched piece from one of their own journalists tells you so much about the clout and power of Harvey Weinstein. People were afraid of him. No more. And the craziest thing, though, is that he is so deluded. He really thinks he's going to have a comeback after all of this. I mean, maybe he's not deluded. Mel Gibson still works. Woody Allen still works. Hollywood, they're very forgiving. Much more forgiving than me. On to happier news. Um... Let's, well, actually, I'll save that one because I want to end on the happy news. Uh, Tyrese continues to uh, talk about The Rock. In fact, Tyrese shared a video that The Rock made to help Tyrese promote his last album in 2015, in which The Rock was uh, jokingly dissing the album. But Tyrese is real sensitive and must have taken it to heart and clearly doesn't have a great sense of humor. And I think that's the real reason behind Tyrese being so vocal about The Rock having his own spin-off Fast and the Furious movie. Dude, lighten up. Um, in other Weinstein, Trump-related news, people of that ilk, I... Um, came to the realization that TMZ is a Republican website. They are so pro-Trump, pro-conservative, and uh, Harvey Levin of TMZ fame has his own show on Fox News. Did you know that? I don't read TMZ anymore, thankfully, um, but I was just so bummed to hear that. But hey... Conservative Trump supporters need their own gossip sites too, right? Um, and finally, I was so happy to hear that Taylor Swift is going to be launching a new app that will be connecting her and her fans and the fans together. That's a point that I was critical of on my podcast in August. And maybe she listened to that episode because she's got it covered. And I'm so happy that Taylor's album is weeks away and that it seems like promo is coming too. Ay, ay, ay. That's one of the nice things about a newborn. They can sleep through anything. <laughs> She is such an angel, you guys. I'm so happy. I love you. I love you. I love you. Anyways, thanks for watching this. As always, if you... Uh, oh, oh, opening the eyes. Uh, that smile. Oh. As always, if uh, you enjoyed this video, hit like, hit share. And if you're not following me, follow me. Follow us.